Hi, this is Jen. Let's just jump right into this. So I have Blender 2.8 opened. I know that I originally had my first tutorial on Blender 2.79, but I'm going to be using 2.8 because I think the simulation is just much faster on this, I think. Anyway, um, so I'm going to start with a clean uh, workspace here. Add a UV sphere. And... Ugh, you know, I'm still new in Blender 2.8, so I'm going to be a little bit like all thumbs with this one slightly. So, 8, and then 8, and then I'm going to be right here, and then I'm going to get a wireframe. Haha, uh -huh. okay. I'm going to select the top here section, delete that, A, move this up, and then I'm going to select these edges. Oops. And then I'm going to delete this bottom section here, delete these faces. So here is our base face model. Um, you can do obviously more than or less than eight petals. I'm just doing this one because that's how much I had it originally. Now we're going to add a modify, subdivision surface modifier and I think that looks good. And I'm going to smooth that out a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to add the rest of the petals. Okay, I'm copy that. I'm going to rotate it and scale it. Get a wireframe. Okay, and then copy that, rotate and scale it. And yeah, I'm going to scale it a little bit more. Okay, so there you go. You can do more layers if you want, but I'm just going to. Next, we're going to create a vertex group. We're going to select these middle vertices there, here. And then we're going to go here, going to add that vertex group, assign it. And then we're going to, let's see, make sure, okay, good. Make sure we have that select, we have it correctly selected. All right. And then we're going to add our control sphere. I'm going to move that up a little bit. Then going to randomly click around. No, here, there it is. Okay. So, wire. Okay, there you go. Make sure that our flower stays within the sphere because it's going to, um, this is how we're going to animate it. We're going to use the sphere to animate how the petals are going to fall. Next, we're going to add keyframes to this to make the sphere smaller. So I'm going to hit I, location, rotation, scale. We're going to move our um, timeline to 20 and just make that smaller. Put that down in the middle again. And hit I, location, rotation, scale. So you kind of see when you scrub, scrub through it a little bit, it just goes, yeah, there you go. And then we're going to add our physics. So let's go on physics tab. For the sphere, we do collision. For the petals, we do cloth, okay? And then we're going to change a couple of settings here. Um, turn on self-collision. On the distance and object collisions, we're going to do 0 0.001. And the distance and self-collisions, we're going to do 0 0.01. These are just the settings that seem to work out good for well for me for creating these flowers, so just use that for your you know first test. Um, so on shape, we do pin group there, and then on field weights, we're going to zero out the gravity. Okay, I think we have everything. Um, let's do our first hit space bar. And that did not, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, um, on the sphere here, make sure this is not, it's the single sided is unchecked because it did not read the interior of the sphere, the inside of it as a uh, part of the collision. So do it again. And there you go. That's less crazy. Okay, so that's the base of that. So we're going to add a little bit more geometry. Get on. Um, okay, select your flower and add another subsurf modifier. And then we're going to do solidify and create these petals. Make sure that none of them are overlapping into each other. Going to make them slightly less. Um, actually, you know what? That was fine. That one was fine. I don't know why I did that. All right. Now we're going to simulate that again, and voila.
There you go. You have your peony flower. I'm going to add a little bit more geometry here on the outside just to make the flower petals a little bit more flat in shape. Okay. We're going to take care of this um, in a little bit. Let me just finish this. Okay. So um, we don't want the petals to collide into each other like that. So if it's, I mean, it doesn't collide on a click like that when you're out of edit mode. But um, I still want to uh, make it a little bit like further away from the interior petals. So I'm going to select the, out, the uh, exterior petals and we're going to scale it up a little bit slightly. Okay, we're gonna change out the sphere as well, just to show you that um, you should you have to make sure that the petals stay within the sphere. So if we do any changes, we're gonna go back to the frame and hit I again, location rotation scale. So here we go. All right, hit I again to simulate, and oh, there you go. See, it's even. Oh, there you go. That's nice. Okay, so there you go. That's the basic gist of how you create these flower petals. You can also make other stuff um, that has the same more or less shape, like artichokes perhaps, or uh, cabbages. And you can even change how the sphere is going to behave throughout the um, simulation because it's going to make the petals look a lot more, you know, it's, the arrangement's going to be more different every time. I like when you change that the sphere shape. So let me show you. If I go on keyframe six and I'm going to yeah, so I'm going to scale it like this to be a little bit more oval. I let me go on keyframe twelve and I'm gonna make this smaller this way here. Hit I again. Let me go back to the beginning and then hit space bar. It's going to have more or less a different shape than we had it originally. See how these petals look a lot more, I guess, organically placed than if it were just overlapping one over the other. So there you have it. And I'm going to show you how I kind of did my little bouquet. I let it run a little bit more. See if you can. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do here to going to go into the modify. Click on the flower. I'm going to apply the first subdivision surface modifier and the cloth, but you apply it as a shape key. So what happens then, if you go to your shape keys here, select cloth, you can play with the values to see which part of the simulation you want the flower to open up to kind of give you a little bit of variety. You can probably do it on um, a lattice too or something, or just manually scale it and shape it if you want, but this is just another option. Okay, I'm gonna open it bit and then we're gonna add another one here spin it there we can delete this one now so yeah that was a pretty simple way of creating the flower um, I hope that made sense and um, yeah that's it